Hi there. Back in Adelaide after the Great Air Race, everybody wanted to take Ross and Keith out to lunch or dinner. And we've actually got a menu of one of those occasions. It's a menu for a dinner for the Queen's College Old Scholars. It was quite an exclusive school, so it's a fancy menu and excuse my French, but the dishes are huitre, oysters, consomme, a clear soup, merlon is whiting, agno is lamb, dander is turkey, so there are some vegetables, gelée, orange jelly, vanilla ice cream with pea au parmesan or cheese straws, dessert and coffee, yummo. And on the back of the menu are more signatures. We can see the signature of Ross Smith and Keith Smith with the headmaster, R.G. Jacob Hood, between them. So presumably he was sitting between them at the dinner. The dinner was held at the Grand Central Hotel on the 30th of March, 1920. Now, sadly, we don't have a photograph of the occasion, but we do have a photograph of St. Peter's College Old Scholars Dinner at this venue in 1913. And here's the Grand Central Hotel in 1924. It was on the corner of Rundle and Pulteney Streets in Adelaide, but sadly, it's now the site of a car park. Queen's School was in Barton Terrace in North Adelaide, and we actually have a photograph of the school from 1902. And it shows Ross sitting in the front, and it shows Keith standing at the rear. Now the school produced nine Rhodes Scholars and Sir William Bragg, who won the Nobel Prize for Physics, but Ross and Keith were very much the favourite sons of the school. The library has some pieces of memorabilia from Queen's School. Beautiful housing. Such as this winter cloth cap with the Queen's School crest and the headband, which was for the straw boater for summertime. You can see that the colours are chocolate and gold and the boys of the school were known as the boys of chocolate and gold. Now, sadly, the school closed in 1959, but its heritage lives on for fostering Ross and Keith Smith. Thanks for watching.